Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training where we want to give you, the YouTube audience, the training that you need to tackle jobs like this one on your own. Today's job is going to be fixing, or in this case we're going to have to build a brand new drawer for the vanity. We're currently standing in the in the second floor restroom of my home and what happened was is that we had a water leak here on the uh, in the restroom uh, uh, at the sink level over here there's for the sink there's two of these angle stop valves and this particular one feeds the sink on the left and it does the cold water valve and what happened was you're not going to be able to see it but the valve body cracked somewhere in here and water was just spraying out not much water but just a small amount of water and what happened was is that the water leaked uh, onto the floor here uh, down the wall inside the wall down to the first level and got the floor all wet so by the time I ended up figuring out exactly what was going on I was able to shut the valve off but in the uh, process it destroyed um, a drawer let me show you the uh, what's going on okay so this is the second floor vanity there's the sink on the left it, well I'm going to show you underneath in just a second this is the drawer that's oh, turned upside down but you can see the water damage right here and this particular vanity is one where it's got a couple of doors and it's got drawers in the center and drawers underneath so what happened was is that it ended up here's the let me just get a flashlight for you you can see pretty good. So what happened was this valve right here, where I actually have just a temporary valve on there right now, that's where this particular valve was located and was leaking water. So when we came up here, there was just water everywhere. When I, when I opened up the drawer, there was a bunch of water in the drawer. By this time, the, the floor was you know, puddled with water and the water leaked down here onto the first level. So what, so the issue is, is that now that the water is off and everything is dry, this is, this um, drawer is made out of just very cheap particle wood. When particle wood gets wet, and even though it's fully dry right now, it never returns back to its original shape. You can see how much we've pulled away from it here. But let me show you with my tape measure exactly how much this this thing has expanded and to show you that this is non-salvageable all right so where these grooves come in right where my finger is touching let me show you here on the operating drawer you'll see right here uh, right here where this uh, mates with that is about right in the center of the dimple so here I've got the uh, drawer slides pulled out and if I take my tape measure and I put it on the dimple there and then measure it. Hold on, I gotta do this, try to try to get this as precise as possible. On the dimple there to here, it's exactly 21 inches. So just to give you a, a zoom in on that. So I know my tape measure is a little off, but that's just because I'm not quite holding it perfectly. I did this off camera. I know it's 21 inches. Now let me show you this. When I when I grab it over here come over to here we want that to be 21 inches it's 21 and 3 eighths so what's happening is is that this is ex this has expanded out this way 3 eighths of an inch I can't even shave this down in order to get this to fit because there will be no holding power for the screws for this or anything so the only thing that I can possibly do is save the front of this and build a new drawer all right, because this drawer has been expanded, we can't get the measurement off of this drawer here in order to get another drawer made. So what I did is I drew a little pictorial with the front here with the handle being this handle uh, right here. And I drew the, the, the front, you know, the two sides and the back. And then I just gave some uh, measurements here. Oh, and then the, uh, the, the, the center, the bottom portion, which is right here. Uh, and I just labeled them with numbers 1, 2, 3, 3, and 4. So this way we could figure out exactly what our sizing is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to 
remove the uh, Phillips head screws here uh, holding the drawer slides in and then I'm going to install the drawer slides there and then and then get that measurement so let's do that okay so I have all of our measurements I got that measurement between the two drawer slides and that's 20.5 inches I'm assuming my thickness of my wood here is going to be three quarters of an inch and that's why I wrote down three quarters of an inch but that's not confirmed yet um, I was able to also just fill in some other numbers here uh, uh, 18 inches from here to here the, the, the thickness of the height is um, five and one eighth of an inch on the sides of the drawer here 18 inches going back from here to here and let me show you now that the drawer slides are in what I did was is I just put the drawer slides in like this take the tape measure hold it up against one side try to do this one handed hold it against that one side while you take your measurement right over here and then that there is where I came up with oops where I came up with 20.5 inches it's slightly shy it's a little bit fat almost a sixteenth of an inch more but I'd rather be on the shy side because I can always shim out so I don't want to be too fat here I'd rather be on the shy side so 20.5 inches is what we're going to build okay so here is going to be the base I got three quarter inch plywood nice and pretty that cost about eleven dollars at the Home Depot now for the sides I got this this is PVC so this can take all the water you can soak this in water and it doesn't matter so what happened to this particle wood here where it got all fat is simply not going to happen if it ever happens again with this product no particle wood and the way that this drawer uh, got all deformed and everything like that I've got plywood going on the bottom plus I'll paint it so it'll be perfectly fine the only difference is um, is that well I guess it'll be just it'll be white on the sides and either I can paint either I can paint this or actually I can just do some wipe on poly and, uh, and it, it'll actually look the same as that so uh, it almost looks like that right now which is pretty good so maybe I will do that and just have white sides or yeah no I'll have to have white sides I'm not gonna paint that okay so uh, my construction is going to be different the way that they built this box you'll notice that there's a recessed uh, lip in here this is not uh, three three quarter inch plywood this is just a very thin piece of like uh, particle wood or something not particle wood but like hardboard um, that's what this is so the way that I plan on doing my construction is I'm going to have the sides like this and then the plywood is going to go here uh, underneath with screws going this way the problem with that strategy is is that if I if I do it that way where the where the glide connects that is it would connect if I left the glide where it's at it would connect right right where this is right here the, those screws would go right in there and all the weight of the drawer and everything would be held in by just this small piece of material that's why I told you I wanted to put a two inch spacer this way I can take my my glide which is installed on the bottom of the drawer and I'm going to move it up two inches um, I gotta get a couple of tools uh, in order to do this job so one of the tools that we're going to use is this going to be this table saw and then and the other tool that we're going to use is the chop saw so I got to get that set up this is going to be the bottom of the drawer I've already looked at both sides to determine what side looks prettier and this one's got some knots on it so that's going to be the bottom this is going to be the top I've got it identified that the front is going to be this way and I decided to the grain will be this way which matches the way that they had the the original grain on the um, on their drawer so this replicates it the closest I've already got my lines of where I need to cut so we're gonna get ready to cut that uh, with the uh, with the table saw and um, what else and then I'm gonna start cutting my PVC 
I know I need two pieces that are 18 inches because I already did it. Uh, all I had to do was actually just measure what that is, and that's 18 inches right there. And I'm just copying that same exact measurement. So we know that I'm going to need two pieces that are 18 inches. Then once we get the bottom of this uh, uh, set up and we put the 18 inch pieces on there, we'll see how much distance remains, and then that will be the cut the two pieces that go one here and one right there. So I'm going to start making these cuts. Here is the basic drawer. This is the bottom. You can see the four sides. Nothing is connected. It's all just put in here loose. Now I've got these screws that I purchased to, uh, to make up the corners and to go underneath from the uh, plywood into the PVC. This was the piece of scrap that was left over from the job. So what I did was is I just used this scrap piece. I just cut it in half on my chop saw and then just tested it out with um, using this as the pre-drill and this as the countersink drill right here and then and then testing that out to see what it was going to look like. You can tell I went too deep on the countersink on this first one because I was trying to figure out how soft and flexible this PVC was to work with but this uh, countersink here looks a little bit more reasonable. It's just about perfect. I could be uh, a little bit more not quite so shallow but I'm pretty close and this is just on the inside of the drawer you this isn't you know you're not really gonna see this anyways that this is gonna be on this section of the drawer here so it's not uh, highly highly critical exactly what that looks like now as far as this joint goes how strong it is these these particular screws are are two inch screws you can see the screws right here uh, number eight by two inch screws so they're going in here a pretty good distance. Let me show you. So, of course, there's a threat that I was afraid I was going to split that out, but there is absolutely no issue with this setup at all. And it uh, actually, I can feel it in my hand here, just playing around with it, and I can tell you it's, it feels pretty strong. Let's not forget that I'm also going to be attached to the bottom plywood going up that way. So this thing's going to be basically rock solid by the time I get done with it.
All right, so here's your basic box outline. Here's the bottom. This is what it's going to look like. Okay, I brought the new drawer up to the to the bathroom. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, door slides, uh, the the drawer slides from where they are currently. So let me get those pulled out. So before I take it out, I noticed that the distance of the uh, the front lip is just about flush with this portion right here. So we'll just make sure it goes back like that exactly. Opening up the drawer slide and I look inside here. It, there's only two Phillips head screws. Uh, one is right here and the other one is, uh, is back over here. So I'm just going to pull out these two screws right now. All right, I pulled out the, the drawer glide or slide, whatever you want to call it. And they had two of these screws here uh, that were attaching it. And you can see how fat those screws are right there. So I'm definitely going to need to pre-drill. And I've got this uh, drill bit right here um, that I use for the uh, pre-drilling to, to attach the screws. Now, when they, the way that the original uh, installer uh, did this, he installed the two screws, one here and the other one right here. But I'm going to install my screws when I go to put it back in here and here because this has a metal plate that has a little bit of flexibility to it so I know that my drawer theoretically should be a little bit smaller than than the opening so this way there'll be a this will allow a small amount of movement a little bit more than what that will allow so I'm, that's where I'm going to attach when I get to that point so if I use this spacer here and I put the drawer slide uh, here you'll see that my mounting screws coming into the cabinet where they land it's a pretty good spot where there's some pretty good material so definitely um, this particular um, uh, uh, spacer is good I haven't pulled this one out yet but you see on this one the the installer installed the, the screw in the right location to allow for that little bit of flexibility that's how I plan on doing both of my slides on both sides all right, so actually I should have left the shims in place to do my dry fit, but since I got the shims out, I just put, I just put them in there loose like this, just to make sure that the thing would actually work. And, it, and it's not attached or anything, it's just sitting in here loose. But um, the, my, the, the size that I built this drawer looks like it's going to fit. If, it, if anything, it's a slightly on the tight side, but I don't think it's going to have an issue. It's going to go back and forth at, at, as we want it to. So we'll go ahead and... Um, and start putting in our um, our slides. Okay, now we have both drawer slides repositioned at the correct height that we're looking for. I'm just going to take some, some paint sticks, some paint sticks and put them down here. This is kind of like a shim. This one's got a little bit of paint on it there, so I'll move that one out. So I'll just use these two here. Just to provide a shim between the bottom of the drawer and the wood here. All right, this is kind of like what everything uh, looks like without being screwed in. So just checking fit, operation, and everything like that. And everything seems fine. Now this is the height that we're, where we need to install our, um, our, our, uh, our, our drawer glide. All right, so I'm pulling this out, the drawer slide, so it's flush with this. If anything slightly back and I'm holding the drawer down and there's some holes here where I can make a pencil mark and that that is my mark and for where this glide is supposed to be placed 
I'm going to try to do the same thing on the other side, although I've got the wall against me over here. Yeah, it's not going to be as friendly. Uh, I can't even see exactly where it is. So what I'll do is I'll just make a mark at the top of the slide. Alright, actually I can do the same thing here too. So what I can do is I can just make a mark like this of the straight edge there. And we'll match that up when we get when we take the thing apart. So we'll take this apart for now. I've got the drawer labeled. This is the front and this is the top, so I know it goes in this way. And then we'll take these out like this. And this is the part here that we need to uh, put in here like that. Uh, but we'll do that uh, downstairs. And we'll go from there. Uh, we could even do it right here. It actually doesn't even matter. Um, it might be better to do it downstairs only because there I have a, a complete straight edge. Let's see if I can do it here. So that's the front. This goes like this. We know that this has to go in exactly like this. Should be good. Let's just test this out and see if we actually got ourselves a drawer. Now, there's that one. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take the face off of the old cabinet. We can't just do a direct measurement because this cabinet is completely, this drawer rather, is completely different than this drawer. So I, I can't just take it off and put it on there because I have no idea what the orientation is. We'll figure out that in a second. First, we're gonna get this off. easy enough. Okay, so now that we got that off, uh, we know that this is the top because this is where the bumpers were on, on the original drawer. So we know it's going to go on like this. Let's go upstairs and try to figure out what the, uh, the orientation is. Okay, I'm going to try to give you the best viewing angle I can, although, <clears throat> although this is a small bathroom. Okay, so, so what about if I do it like this? That's how we'll do it. Let's try this one more time and see if this works. There we go. Okay, now we are slightly proud. We have our drawer. We know that this is the top of the drawer. And now we have an orientation of exactly where the drawer goes in. Now, just using a paint stick, I can see that the, the gapping distance on, on the, up above is about about that much, or a little bit a little bit over, and about that much going like this. So this is approximately how we're going to figure out where to put this. We could there's a couple things we could do. I could drill right through here right now, put the handle in, and then just lock it in. Actually, that's the easiest way to go about this. Drill in here and put the handle in. I have my drills, my drill bits right here. This is a slam dunk. I know what size 
it is, it's right here, and the handle is right here when I get to it, okay? So we can do this right now. All we have to do is get this uh, size drill bit here, and it looks like it's going to be this one. Oh, this is going to be easier than I thought. <clears throat> I was going to put double stick tape here and then push this on and then do it. But because I've got this already drilled out for the handle, I don't even see the, the need to do that. So let me just see if this uh, drill bit is a good size. And let me double check it against the screw size. Yeah, this drill bit should be fine. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, we have a drill, we have our drawer, now let's just get our spacing. I want this spaced like that, evenly, and now for the side to side, I want that right about like that. And uh, double check it over here. And make sure I'm up tight. Drill, drill, we're 100%, take that down, okay, now we know that the screws have to go in the back, and we know that we're going in this way, and we know that our handle goes this way. Let's just start tightening that up. Alright, now, it looks like I'm a little low here compared to the gap in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this up and lift this up a little bit, see how much play I have. Okay, I had some play there. Let's try that. Okay, we should be totally good. We still got those spacers in the back. Let's pull out the spacers and see what uh, how the drawer reacts when I pull out the spacers. When you push it closed, it bounces out just a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Basically, this is your drawer right here. I'm going to take it apart, take it back downstairs and finish this, but basically that is your, your installation. I could even just live with it just like this and not even do anything, just pull out the sticker. It's actually not a bad install. Now, I do have some extra screws here, which I am going to put uh, from here to here, but I'll do that downstairs on the workbench just to give this drawer uh, a little bit more strength. I've got some screws right here for that. That came from the other. From, they came from this drawer that they that they, they installed. <clears throat> and by the way, here's the difference between what this one looks like and what this one looks like. So the difference is is that this one has the brown color and this is going to be white. But this is particle wood. This is PVC. This will never get. I will never have to replace this drawer again because of the the fact that it's got um, it's it's waterproof. It's PVC, so I don't have to I don't have to worry if any water contaminates this. Okay, so that's uh, that's it. We'll we'll take it downstairs and we'll finish this off. All right, I brought the drawer down so I could put a couple more of these screws here in the back to give this a little bit more stability. The problem is, is that when you look at the front of the drawer, there is a reveal here. So I cannot put the screw anywhere in between uh, where my finger is and over in here and here. So if you take the tape measure and you measure it from there, right there to this side over here, that tells you that I have, I have to, I have to be greater 
than about 18 and through 7 eighths of an inch or so. If you come over here and you look at the size of the drawer, from there inside there to over to here, it's 19 and 1 quarter, which means that when I put this screw in, it's going to have to, I have to, because, and this, this screw actually has a pretty good size head on it. Otherwise, I could just possibly go in straight like this, but I'd be better off being at a slight angle like this here when I do the, uh, when I put the drill in. So this way, it, um, it, I just make sure that I hit solid wood and not that, uh, not that reveal. So I'm just going to pre-drill a couple of holes, one here and one on the other side over here, and then get that in. All right, so here's the front of your drawer, and it is on there absolutely rock solid. There's absolutely no give to that whatsoever. So everything with this is good. The only thing that we have left to do is pull out the uh, bottom. We're going to give it some wipe-on poly here to give it some protection, and, uh, and we're good to go. Okay, you just saw me put on one coat of the uh, wipe-on poly, and I did that um, starting on the back. I did the back and I did the sides. And uh, the recoat time for this product here is two hours. So we'll wait a minimum of two hours. We'll give it another coat. We'll actually probably do three coats in total. So we'll, we'll, we'll do three coats, then we'll flip it. We'll do three coats on the top and then we'll be ready to put everything back together and, and have it completed. I just have the, the, uh, the frame of the drawer just sitting over here, um, just out of the way for now. And you, you can see the old drawer right there. But basically our focus is on just waterproofing this so that, that, so that we never experience that uh, same thing that happened with that one there ever again. Okay, we have three coats of poly on both sides, front and back. Now it's time to do the easy part, which is just put the uh, just put the, uh, the, the the cabinet or the the, the base or whatever uh, the frame uh, on the uh, on the bottom of that. So we'll do that right now. This is going to be super fast because we've already got everything pre-drilled. We know exactly where we're going with everything. So we know that this is the bottom. I labeled this here with just a uh, piece of paper. So I know this is the bottom, this is the front. So it has to go in this way. So all I got to do is put the, uh, the four screws in and make sure I don't strip anything out. Okay, here's a close up of our finished product of exactly what it looks like on the inside. The, uh, that, that the base, the front of this is really sturdy. All we have to do now is just go upstairs and put it in. Let's go do it. Okay, now all we have to do is put the drawer in the uh, base here, make sure nothing has shifted on us. And hopefully it has not. Look at that. Now we'll give you, uh, so everything looks really good to me. I mean, that looks just totally solid. Let me give you a comparison of what the other drawers look like so you kind of can see the difference. So, 
it is a little bit different, but it's very, very close. And PVC, it's just a really good product. We won't have any issues with this moving forward. Okay, that's going to conclude this video. I hope that you got some tips from it. I've, uh, it's not like I'm a professional drawer builder, so if I can do it, you can do it. So um, please click on like if you haven't done so already and uh, leave a comment about your projects. And I'll uh, subscribe to my channel, Ken Training, and I will catch you on the flip side.